welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Yee, if it's your first time here. Today I have a olive green look for you. If you're interested, then just keep watching. Prime my face with the Fenty Beauty Primer. I'm sorry, this is so repetitive, but... Uh, yeah, I'm really not sorry, because I'm gonna keep using it anyway. Like, I feel like I keep using this and it just doesn't, like, want to die. Like, it just stays forever. Hmm. I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I'm hyped up right now, I don't know why. I'm gonna drink some wine. I feel like I come off as like an alcoholic because I drink wine every single one of these things. Um, what really inspired me to do this look today was just my outfit, really. Most of the time I do uh, my makeup looks according to my outfit. And a lot of the times I have outfits planned out for Makeup looks planned out for outfits. That's just my brain works. That's just the way my brain works. Don't know why. This is a MAC Studio Sculpt foundation uh, in NC25. Looks like this. I saw somebody wear this once and it looked so good on them that I purchased it. I'm gonna just put some on the back of my hand. And using something I've never used before, I'm using the Real Techniques sponge because this, this foundation is pretty thick. So I kind of wanted to share it out a bit. So I'm gonna use a Real Techniques, Techniques sponge. It's already damp, I already wet it. And um, my, I got this for Christmas from one of my friends during a white elephant gift thing. So. Hopefully, this goes well. I don't even know like this is the right shade, but oh yeah. Damn. Yeah, I'm glad I used a sponge because this is this is a lot of coverage. Going in with the Hourglass, hour, Hourglass, Hourglass Sheer Limb Trio, looks like this, and using um, just a bronzer shade. Actually, I think I'm gonna use this whole palette today because I don't use this palette enough. So I'm just gonna dip into that bronzer color and just go around the perimeters of my face. With that bronzer color. I've never used a sponge to do this, so I'm kind of scared. Uh, I don't think I like that with the sponge. I'm gonna go in with the brush. Uh, just a stippling brush. Yeah. I much prefer this with the brush. I just felt like that was just like making the color dissipate too much. And I don't wanna waste this. This thing's not cheap, okay? with that same blush color in the trio. Champagne highlighting color. Of the three, I use this, um, I use this uh, highlight the least. color on my nose. I'm just going to contour my nose with the Fenty Beauty Mocha Matchsticks Matchstick. Yeah. Using the same brush, I'm just going to go in with the highlighter color and go down the bridge of my nose. Just with my pinky, I'm gonna do the bridge of my nose. Well, yeah, I, don't, I definitely don't like this foundation anymore. 
feel like it's really cakey. I'm uh, gonna powder underneath my cheekbones. I always forget this part, but it's the pouring this way, toothpaste powder. I just have some on my cap, and then I just use that to powder underneath my cheekbones. Just bring some life back. Mm, just like where my pores are. My face, because I feel like I look kind of cakey with the Pixie Glow Mist. Looks like that. I'm almost done with it. I might get another one of this. Or I'm, because I think it's like the most like skin friendly one from the drugstore. And it's like $14-$15. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm just gonna dry that off. Hopefully that helps me to make it look less cakey. Okay, now I'm going to do the eyes. I'm going to use two products that Mariah Leonard here on YouTube recommended. Um, I bought this palette and this um, primer just because she told me to. <laughs> Um, this is the Urban Decay Ultimate Ozone Ultimate Ozone pencil. Uh, I'm just gonna use that on my eyeballs. I bought this one. She was talking about how all the tones are really hard to find because they go very gray on her very easily, and I find that to be so true. And I feel like the reason I don't go for green eye eyeshadow sometimes is because it tends to have that gray tinge to it, but I have tried this palette before and it's a true olive green that I love. I'm gonna try to do like a different look than Mariah, but um, if it turned out the same, I guess this is a following Mariah Leonard makeup tutorial, eye makeup tutorial. And so I'm using this pencil because um, this, the palette is a cream eyeshadow palette. And so, she said this helps it not crease. And I've definitely used this once before and did crease even with this pencil on, but that just might be because my eye crease is like I have hooded lids. So like it just naturally will crease no matter what, you know? But I'm just gonna pat that. Now going in with this MAC palette. See, I've used this once before. And this palette, like when I put it on her eyes, eyeballs, I was like, I need to have that. Mm. Mm. Going in with this mossy green color at the top. Right there. Why did I even point at the red, right one? I hope so. Um, I'm just going to lay that down with a flat brush. And see like how freaking perfectly mossy green that is? It's, it's very hard to find in eyeshadows. It's like a yellow green. Because they all tend to lean gray. Or something else. And going in the inner corner as well. Mm. Color right there, this deeper color. I'm just going to deepen that up and really just smoke it out. And what I think I might do to deepen that green color, I might go in with that brown color 
the very corner and just mix the two and hopefully it'll come out like deeper green so how color theory works pretty but I kind of want it to be dark <sighs> so going in with the subculture palette I might ruin this look right now after I talked about five minutes about how it's great mossy green I'm gonna ruin it by adding gray green uh, going with that color destiny just gonna tap off the excess mm-hmm This will probably help it stay a little bit longer. Not that I need it to stay because I'm not going anywhere, but you know. Okay, now just, I'm gonna fill in that blank spot. Wow, there's a powder on my palette. Okay, um, with that mustardy yellow color. Now I'm gonna blend that edge with that, like, orangey color in the corner. I think that'd be pretty. I don't know where I stopped recording, but I just put that orangey color on my crease and just blending that out a little bit. Okay, going back in with that concealer. I'm just gonna clean the edges a bit. green at the bottom and just repeat the steps basically I'm gonna go with the Glossier boy brow okay Oh, fuck. I'm gonna try to whip that eyebrow off. Curling my lashes. Pray for me. They're gonna be like a big ass indent. Oh no, there isn't. Thank God. Okay, going in with some mascara. 
I'll go in with the Lazy Mincier Big, not waterproof, just a regular version. Because I'm just going to take this off afterwards anyway. I'm going to go in with the By Beauty 040 lip liner. And then going in with the 3 Concept Eyes Matte number 220. It's a Korean brand. By style Nando, I believe. I'm just gonna blot this on. I'm gonna conceal because I can't do my lipstick for shit. Okay. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of the NARS under arrest lip color. I don't know what this is. I don't know if this is a matte one or... Just in the center. Or maybe everywhere. I got this as a gift, so I don't know if this is like a matte or a velvet or... I think I toned it down just enough. Okay, and that's the finished look, you guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.